Hey, Sam here. Um, getting ready to paint this the dash on the Impala. So the color is going to be like um, <clears throat> it's not the same as the color that's going to be on the body. The body's that aqua. Uh, this is a little bit darker. It is a aqua. It's not going to be the original co color of the dash. Uh, I couldn't figure out what the original color of the dash was, but from what's left over of the paint. I mean, this is this has got overspray and all that, and it's, it's uh, dull. Uh, also, there used to be some um, fur glued over this, um, like white fur. So that's why you see all this glue texture, whatever. But got some parts out, and that's kind of like the color of the dash was. And there's no paint coat or anything for that and I mean I've kind of looked around and I came up with a few colors this was one color I came up with and I kind of like this one but I think I'm gonna go with this color here so I'm gonna get that painted <clears throat> and uh, bring you guys back when I get it painted this was the vinyl that was on there on this dash padded dash uh, from the pictures I see online, the aqua padded dash sure looks a whole lot lighter than this. This looks almost like a blue, but when you look at the blue one online, it looks too much of a of a blue color than an aqua. So I don't know what the what's up with that, or or if this just um, I don't think it faded with the sun because this piece of material came from the back of the panel that was. Um, kind of taped back here in the back so it wouldn't have got no sun other than it's kind of dirty all right so get ready to spray that got my fan going it's about 70 degrees in here 68 70 so we got the paint mixed and uh, fixing to lay the first layer of base coat all right bring guys back a little bit Well guys, there's the color. I don't know how good it'll show on camera or their lighting. But, I messed up. I got a run on the base coat, which I really... Hadn't really gotten runs on base coat, but... Trying to spray in this area and under here. Um, I guess I had too much fluid coming out and I've got too much in this area I was trying to get some paint in here because I noticed that I didn't uh, get hardly any paint right in that area where the glove box is when I was did my first coat so I guess I was trying to pile it on the second coat and then I can see it's a little bit light in here in this area but anyway I ended up getting two runs one here and one on that corner and built up around this corner here got to run so right in this area and that's where the most important part is because that's where it's going to show up here on top it's, it's not um, all this gets covered up with that dash padded dash so again up here it's easy to spray but down here I was trying to get up in here and uh, trying to make trying to make sure I had coverage and of course built it up too much there um, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna let it set dry and not even worry about the clear at the moment and they say you got 24 hours to do the clear so I'm gonna let it set for a few hours and then try to sand that run out maybe just scuff it and scuff it with a scuff pad and then um, shoot shoot another layer of base coat uh, and then see how it comes comes out then probably what I'll do <clears throat> Is I'll see if I can. Well, I'll I'll just scuff the whole thing, the whole dash again, or anyways, right in here. I'll just take a light scuff pad, 
try to scuff that run out, scuff that up a little bit, and then I'll shoot um, another layer of base. All right, guys. Uh, if I get that run taken out, and then bring you guys back if I shoot the clear today. Thanks for watching. Okay, got finally the um, base coat down. Uh, the runs are gone, so I was able to take out those runs I had right there. And then over there in the corner. And I shot two more coats of two more coats of base coat on there. And gonna let it sit probably about hour, hour and a half, and then I'm gonna shoot the clear. I just finished shooting the last coat of uh, base on there. Uh, probably been about 15 minutes. There's really no use in painting this here, but by the time you spray where you need to get paint, um, might as well paint the whole thing. The metal padded dash, or that. Oh, that's over here somewhere. Else. That's the metal part of the padded dash. The, the pad goes on top of this. Uh, the back of this here winds up uh, probably about right there where the edge of those vents are. Like right in there somewhere. Maybe a little bit back further. So you might see about inch, inch, inch and a half behind those vents. up there let's see yeah and up here you'll just probably see the the edge of that here I've seen some people take the or weld up the holes and speaker grill there cut it out put a piece of metal weld up the holes and just go with the metal dash and I thought about doing that but heck <clears throat> trying to get get away from the fumes here get back over here where the fans at anyways guys I'll bring you back as soon as I get that clear on there uh, like I said probably let it set for about an hour and a half and then uh, shoot a couple of coats of clear on there alright bring you guys back when I get it on there